Welcome to my channel, guys. This is our little teddy girl. She's trying to leave me on the table. Yup, I'm lit today. She's going to be watching Hulu. Wait, 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 wait. Who, guys, who, who would have watched Majago? Majago. Like, that's not Majago. Uh -uh. Well, what? No, I don't want to watch that. You want to watch a vampire movie? Uh-huh. All right. to go on Netflix. Netflix stays forever. So what guys is this girl? I'm so glad you got me. Oh, Netflix on. This is on the mind time show. It's this one. Alright, 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 alright. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Season one, no. no. Season one is the main part. Oh, man, no. I'm living. Alright, alright, alright. Season two out. Oh, yeah. Ooh, let's watch this one. Uh. So even when the village shaman would try to call down the vengeance of the moon upon his enemies, he was still a snappy dresser. <laughs> now I hope that some of these native artifacts are going to inspire some culturally diverse costume choices this Halloween. What's inspired for me is a nap. I miss naps. Dreaming, snoring, and drooling. Since when did you give up drooling? Here's a sight for scary eyes. According to native legends, an ancient warlord would use this mask to bring to life the fighting spirits of his army. And the warlord's warriors would don the furs of wolves and bears, and then tell them what happened. Animal rights groups would protest? They smelled like old carcasses? No. The natives believed the warriors would turn into actual wolves and bears. Oh, scary stuff, eh, kids? I saw that you were sleeping, Rory. I was just pretending to sleep. Oh, great. Well, now you can pretend to stay after class and clean the blackboards. It seems like I'm doing this for real. I don't like giving real detention, so I, I try to turn them into imagination time. It, uh, it helps me manage my guilt. Oh, uh, don't touch those artifacts. Okay. The warlord shaman will touch everything.